Hey Libra, it's Lou. I love with House of Ocean. Mm -hmm. This will be your August reading. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any information that you need will be in the description box. I mean, yes. <laughs> We're not doing the crystal this month. We're doing the art through the eyes of the soul oracle. So let's get it rocking like a cut out stock. I will not be, um, I'm still coughing, so y'all know what y'all getting here today. Let's just see. It's not going to resonate with everybody. We already know that. Let us not talk about things we already know. Moving forward. And just what you got for Libra for August. Let's get an overview for Libra for August. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. So y'all want some deep shit, Libra. Okay. As is everybody else, but I'm just saying. Uh, many of you may be coming, uh, feeling like you have, um, how can I put this? You may feel different, Libra. Um, your awareness is heightened. Whatever happened to Mercury retrograde, y'all on y'all shit in August, period. I feel as though you are continuing to um, take this celestial journey, which will, as long as you continue to take action on whatever it ha whatever this has to do with your spirituality, your gathering of information and really moving forward with the information that you are receiving, excuse me, There's a lot of wisdom here. I feel as though um, there's a lot of clarity. You've gained a lot of clarity here in the recent past. Um, it feels as though you may have even been doing a lot of your inner child work here and beginning to, um, whatever that work is that you are doing, healing the inner child is really uh, propelling you forward. It's like a catalyst for your ascension to this next level. So you're graduating rapidly. And I feel like that may go on through throughout the remainder of the year for you. I really need to study astrology so I can figure out is that what I'm talking about. Now then. They want you to take your time. Try not to um, involve yourself in things and just uh, feel as though you really got it right off, but they want you to take your time, take baby steps. Um, I also feel as though some of you may have stepped into this new life, um, whatever that means to you. You stepped into a new life of sorts and you have to take your time with this new you, this new way of doing things, this new environment. Take your time. I'm seeing here where When it comes to you um, needing to really move forward a little quicker in the month of August, because this is a walkthrough. I just had a coughing spurt before I got out here. Hold on. I feel like there's going to be an extreme need for you to really um, allow the masculine side of you to really um, protect the feminine, right? Whatever this is that you are taking action towards or moving towards this new lifestyle, this new way of living or what have you, because there's going to be a need once you take this, I'm going to clarify those, once you take this necessary action moving forward, it will come to a need to um, confront your shadow side, right? And this is even more of you climbing that spiral, that ladder of ascension to this next, these next levels. I don't know why I'm getting like, uh, not semesters, but trimesters. So I feel like this is a birthing, uh, a birthing process. You are really being prepared for something huge within the next nine months possibly, because this feels like trimesters here. But there's a lot of inner work that needs, needs to be done. I just heard uh, something about, um, also postpartum uh, depression here. Um, in that postpartum depression, for those of you who may know someone that's going through it or if you are going through it, that's real, that's, um, 
a very good time to really get very much so familiar with your inner child overall. I don't know why I'm hearing it like that because it can mean different things for different people, but whoever that applies to, you're going to have to confront some things from your childhood um, when it comes to if you're in that space of not wanting to, you're not feeling at, uh, attached to the child, if that makes sense. Because it happens. Everyone that has kids, have children, do not always feel that nurturing, um, it's like it's a, a dis there's some type of disconnect, but it has something to do with your childhood. Moving forward. Clarify. Taking one step at a time. Now, there are some things that have ended, and there may be someone coming back or some situation coming back where um, you feel as though you need some answers from someone. They want you to take your time with this person or this situation. They may live at a distance from you, but there may have been some challenges that were faced. Something about it not being complete, not being fully over. So you want to, this may be someone who has a lot of charisma. They have a lot of style. Um, someone who, um, they may be a ladies man, but they don't, um, you, if they do mess around, you really wouldn't know, but you would have a feeling about it if it's that way. But overall, um, someone is coming back to um, possibly apologize about some things, and they just want you to take your time with it. Don't just jump right into this situation with this person, whatever this is. Capricorn, Aquarius, any air sign, Libra, Scorpio, any water sign. Um, I feel as though there may be um, the tides are turning in a certain situation in your life where um, shit. So, this is what I just got. The ties are turning in some situation. Okay. So, <clears throat> some of you want to be mindful of your transactions or go over your transaction history for the last three months when you move into August. You also want to be mindful that um, you don't, you um, mindful of what you sign. Because I don't know why I feel like there's some type of identity theft and it has to do with um, bank accounts. It has something to do with um Signing up for something, you may even click on some site and give them your information and not knowing that they really just go in and wipe your shit out. Be mindful. I also feel if there is some type of identity theft from someone that you know, it is um, a water sign or a Libra or someone who charmed you up at your shit. Watch your purse. Moving forward. And you may want to take legal action. Now then. I'm seeing here that some of you may be juggling between um, places or uh, making a decision on if you want to uh, remain in a certain situation that you built with someone or do you want to go out here on your own. I also feel that uh, many of you may need to go ahead and get them damn kids some chores. You need some help. Don't get me started on it. I can't raise my voice. I can't get clunk. Some kids need the help. There may be... Um, you, you may even need to be um, taking some time here to really work on your relationship, work on what it is that, what is a relationship to you? You're telling yourself what it is, taking the time to get it right, and building from there. It's right there. You're very, it looks like you're, you're gonna be very mindful of what you give your time, effort, and energy to moving forward. You don't have time to be tiptoeing around like no fool overwhelming yourself, so you're gonna fix that. I also feel that if you have had some type of work done on your home or um, you're in between contractors or something like that and you've just been waiting and putting it off, you need to go handle the date. Just putting it off. Uh, talk about it. There may be something. Uh, you may go into a space where you, um, that space of that, sh um, um, getting in tune with your shadow self in August. And you may get to come to a space where you don't want to deal with certain people. You don't want to deal with um, anyone who has hurt you. Some of you may not even want to confront who has hurt you, or you don't want to confront uh, someone because you, you, don't, you, you, you may be feeling honorary or stubborn. It's your life. Or this could be somebody, you know, you know how this works, doing that to you. But I feel as though, um, there's a, um, a new opportunity coming in from, for you, but you have to confront this shadow self or this shadow side. It could easily be someone who triggers those things, and you need to confront them like, hey, when you do that, that really fucks me up. It sends me back to the, my penitentiary days or something like that, okay? We got to talk about the penitentiary people because they ain't got no programs out here for them to get them back right. 
Now then. There will be some type of communication, uh, forward moving, coming in, some, some communication or some type of travel offer that you may not want because you feel as though um, there may be some fears that you need to address. Yeah, there's, <coughs> shit, now, excuse me, there's, um, by you resisting, if you continue to resist, I told you it's going to happen regardless, if you resist this offer that's coming in, this opportunity to make things right, this op with yourself or someone, if you resist this, it's going to blow up in your face. I feel as though, um, because you can't move forward forward um, with the foundation that you have. Things have to be, um, can't ignore it no more. You can't ignore third party situations no more. You can't ignore trying to reconcile with somebody that it's in, it's written in the stars for you to reconcile with whoever's hell is his. Someone wants to commit to you, could be an earth sign, but overall, I'm seeing here, or a water sign, Aries up in her, moving forward. So there is a need to be, someone is, um, afraid to make an offer or take an opportunity. Someone is afraid that what if it's the same shit and regardless if that happens or it doesn't, some shit gonna get shaken up in order for it to happen. I'm seeing here where um, this is gonna this is moving to a higher level of commitment to yourself, your ideas overall maybe a higher commitment to someone. Someone may be renewing their vows here. Um, I'm seeing that this may be a soulmate situation but overall I feel as though you may even um, decide to um, go ahead and start school. You may, you may have been feeling like you're too old to start school again. And you go ahead and start school to, clear, to have a clear conscience on whatever it is that you, when you were younger, you wanted to do and the desire came back and now you go for it, right? Also, some of you may be consulting um, with uh, someone who you feel is more of a mentor. And what this is going to do, you may be um, calling back in a mentor that you had at, um, from when you were younger, or just wanting to commit to those things that make you feel that you are taken care of. I don't know what the hell that meant to you, but it meant something to somebody out there. Overall, you're going back to a known joy once you confront this inner um, polarity. I'm seeing that you will be feeling uh, more um, in your element. You will be feeling more um, sexy, confident, ready to take on the world, sitting on your throne, doing your damn thing. Sitting on your throne, in your throne. That's how I sit on it, told you. And I feel as though this um, newfound um, commitment, this newfound joy, this newfound balance, temperance, will you? It's not her, but I'm just saying it. I just feel patience and blending of things and feeling good, harmony, balance, harmony, emotionally, healing over here with this star card. But I really feel with that star card, <coughs> really, sorry. I really feel that um, this is giving you a brand new hope, a brand new vision, a brand new way of looking at things. If I made it through that, I can do this, I can do any damn thing. That's how you feel. Let me get up out of here, let me pull out these big girls. I've been talking about that too long, I don't even know where that went. Well, I want to do these live, but y'all have me just coughing up a storm. Mm, mm, mm. You just never know this year. Oof. Been a long year, honey. Angels, what information do you have for Libra? What information do you have? Let's pick that up. For Libra. What you got? Mmm, told your ass. Victory is assured. You are riding the chariot of ascension. Many of you are really um, in a space of being able to do even more with your powers, being feeling even more powerful, but also they want you not to just chill on that. There's more healing to do. Some of you are going into a space where you um, have finally pulled yourself back together. You're finally feeling all of this empowerment, and you... Um, may begin to, throw, uh, you know, feeling victorious and throwing parties. Okay, celebrate your wins, celebrate them, but not too long now, Libra, because you still um, have some healing, some deep, deep healing to do on the soul level. So even though you will feel whole and feel complete, there's still much of the process that you don't see. So, moving forward. 
Some of you are being crowned here soon. But I'm also seeing here that there's wish fulfillment coming in. Many of you have been wondering if you are connecting with certain deities, certain angels, or what have you. This is confirmation that you are connecting with them on a heart, um, from a heart and crown. Oh, so your heart and your crown are being connected, or you're working on your heart and crown. Ooh, okay. Not too much today, spirit, because I don't want to cough. Now, I also feel that um, anytime you may feel like it's um, you're at the end of something or what is your next step, or I feel like your confirmation will be um, the number six. Um, this is you... Um, not necessarily saying that six is this, what I'm, finna, what I'm about to say, but what I'm seeing is there's something about six, you making it, through the, uh, making it through the challenges and having a new beginning. You just need to know that you'll be balanced in this, and this is when you will po possibly see um, the, the numbers for the Ascended Masters and um, whatever your connection is to any of the deities or what have you, whatever those numbers are. Those synchronicities are going to be very strong, especially the 1st of August. I feel as though there's a lot of love. There's a lot of family, a lot of heart energy in the month of August, which is beautiful. I also feel um, like many of you will be in your empress energy. I feel as though um, by you being grounded and stable in um, your position in life, you will um, have grounded and stable, more stable relationships in the month of August. Okay? It's your life. There may be a water sign female who um, is really, really has your um, best interest at heart. They really want, they really look out for you. Um, they're like a guardian angel for you, and they really look out for you, especially when it comes to finances. This may be someone that you have on your altar or someone that you have a picture of, a shrine. I don't know your life. <sighs> Calm down, Lulu. I'd be glad when I can get all the way back to who I am around here. I'm going through the change too, y'all. What? It's all a process. It's a process. Move forward. Now clarify this first card for my beautiful Libras. There may be, um, I'll just get from this card. Okay. Whatever it is that you've been through, you feel like it's a breath of fresh air. Like, ah, you can breathe. <clears throat> Don't do it. <clears throat> Moving forward. <laughs> so, coming out of a space of being fearful, you feel like whatever it is that you have gone through, you know that you can continue to move forward now that you have this victory. So whatever it is that um, you are um, feeling that you are aspiring to reach, whatever goals you have set forth, I feel as though you will continue to go on. You just have to make sure that um, you do not um, repeat any of the mistakes that you've made here in the past to clarify victory. Some of you will have visits from um, paranormal. We're just gonna say paranormal activity, visitations, and if they anything like the ones I've been having this year, stay strong. I wasn't scared or nothing. It's just a lot of shit been going on this year. Moving forward. I feel as though um, some of you may have. See, they say that you are the chosen one, right? So whoever this guardian is, um, who was very nurturing, she was, um, she's very involved in your success. Um, you, as long as you stay on track and stay on your path, she's. This is mothering energy, but it may not be your mother. It just feels like someone that is helping to raise you on this level. It could easily be a new spirit guide, but I'm feeling here that. Success is assured as long as you continue to stay on the path, continue to focus on what matters most. Um, if you are waiting for a job or someone is helping you with a job here, someone may be introducing, to, introducing you to someone that they are employed with or um, someone that has, is of um, a generous suitor, male or female. But what I'm getting here is also the person that is looking out for you, the person who dotes on you, the person who, um, it could be a living person as well, but whoever this is, they're highly intuitive if they're living. And they may have been, when they were living, they were, um, they were the chosen one of that generation. They may be the one who was into this type of shit, and now they're looking over you like, now, it is your turn, darling. I am here with you, blah, 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 right? Move forward. 
now that you have been stripped of all of those things that no longer serve you and, and, and walking into this newness, um, I feel as though there's no way but up for you. And that's how this person feels towards you as well. Because I really feel that there's a, your ancestors are here. Um, this could easily be actual people in your life. I feel like it's ancestors. Some of y'all got about four or five statues on your altar. And they let you know that they alive and well. I know they've been drinking the water. Put that water out there, they'll drink it. It'll be gone fast, don't it? Moving forward. So I do feel as though many of you will be meeting your tribe or getting in tune with your tribe, or maybe you are getting out finally or going out with a group of friends or some, some people with like minds, like interests. And what this is going to do is have is going to um, have you even more um, focused on your finances. I also feel out of this group of people, this may be the, someone out of the group of people who introduced you to someone that's um, very generous. Uh, for others of y'all, the, the lady in the red dress, the man in the red boxes is right here. And some of you are waiting for that to um, come to a head before you make a decision. I feel like it's gonna come to a head. Yep, because you will be moving away from things, people, places, and situations that no longer serve you. You've gone through a rite of passage. That's why you walk into August feeling um, empowered. That's why you um, are very focused in the month of August here. I also feel that there's a lot of mental clarity when it comes to your um, ancestry. There's a lot of mental clarity coming to you when it comes to the people that you deal with in your circle. Y'all ain't getting all them codes. Now, if you've been feeling off course even after the 1st of August, just know that you will be, um, there will be a shift, another shift. Um, so by then, either you will be shifted into um, back on track, because you're never really off track, but you'll be shifted back on track here, deciding to um, not let the obstacles and challenges of the past um, worry you and you get back into alignment with your assignment and by doing so you get a creative spark because you've been through so much you've given so much you feel as though um, you are at the end of um, something that this is ten of wands you you have ended uh, some things and now it's time for a new beginning and you get that creative spark with this sacral chakra you get this creative spark you get this insight this creative insight um, I feel as though there's a potential for you to um, really there's the potential for you to have a new beginning, but you're waiting. You're waiting for this new beginning. You're waiting for more information. This could easily be from a doctor or some sort here, or hearing from a love interest that you may have had some type of conflict with. But there's some waiting here that goes with the sacral. So the area of the sacral chakra, um, <coughs> <coughs> nothing working. I done tried what y'all done told me in them comments. I can't dope myself up, then I ain't gonna be able to do shit. Move forward. So, I feel that some of you may be waiting for some money to pay your deductible so that you can go to the doctor, but there's something like that that's coming in for you to bring yourself back to uh, something with that medical. And you may be indecisive or confused because the doctor said the wrong shit. But I'm seeing here that um, there will be a resolve as long as you remain optimistic, remain, um, use your um, intuition, and you'll be fine. I also feel here that someone is um, feeling oppressed or burdened from a certain situation when it comes to being um, the argument that they had, and you're trying, and maybe you are this other person trying to make this right and coming from a more sensitive space because there, this is a strong, resonant soul energy. Moving forward. I'm seeing that you will begin to cater to yourself and really dote on yourself even more so. The angel of love has come through to let you know that a choice will be made in the month of August. So this could be you making a choice to um, uh, use more love in your practices, come from more of a, a love and healing energy overall. But I really feel like someone is making a choice and wanting to make a commitment, and they're coming in swiftly. They're coming in with this decision to make a commitment, whether it's a job or not, or what have you. It could be you making a choice to go holistic or finally go to a real doctor. I'm not a real doctor. Take that back. Hold on. Some holistic doctors, some real motherfuckers, you girl know. Hold on. I didn't mean that. So you're making, some of you may be making a choice to go with more traditional shit. Right, don't get me started. You will be walking through. 
<clears throat> the door of value. Uh, you will be walking through the door of value, which brings in this, um, someone may be valuing you more. You've been waiting um, for things to speed up here. So someone may be showing that they value you more or that, um, that whatever it is that they owe you, somebody paying up. I feel like it. There is a commitment in matters of the heart being made, possibly with a Virgo. But I feel as though there was huge transformation on one of your parts or possibly both of your parts. And even though you may have tried to do something in the past, it's going to come to fruition now. Even if you tried to do work things out in the past in a certain situation, you're not getting your just due to you now. I was, right? And after that is a cornucopia of blessings. And I feel that you will be triumphant and victorious. And that's the six of wands in this bitch. Told you. I'm finna go. Well, everything that you work on in this month is going to bring out blessings. You may have been feeling, um, someone may be feeling um, like they have more options than, than they really do. There may be some conflict, conflict in this. Um, and if there's a need to be grounded, um, to really take a more focused approach, get out your head, stop thinking about the shit that everybody else done said and all this, make your own damn decisions. Someone may feel as though they can't move forward in a certain situation on the strength that they just don't have enough information. Get the information you need. I'm gonna go because I don't like this coughing shit. I can't even enjoy myself in these reads. I'm mad. But I love y'all and I pray that this resonated with someone out there in the atmosphere. It can't resonate with everybody. It's impossible. I love y'all. Mm, bye.